Well, today's a nice, cool, breezy day. So I have to be careful my uh, work here doesn't blow away in the wind again. But uh, this is a video on crocheting with plastic from grocery bags, uh, other shopping bags, and even sometimes I use a trash bag to get a different color. But I try to keep the theme towards recyclables because uh, I want to make use of what's being thrown into a landfill and show how decorative it can be and fun. So um, with this we're talking about color and the reason why I make certain patterns is I want to get the most use out of a strip. And sometimes if I need to I'll cut one in half and then use the next piece somewhere else or shorten it so that I can get my run in the right position like this could have been better It'll be like nice clean lines when you use the whole strip you get certain patterns and weaving you get certain patterns so if I turn it over you can see where the strips were woven and then in the center I had a problem with it kind of being weak right there so I decided to stitch it hard together, pull it together, and it made the smoother and made the and reinforced the bottom so it was stronger. So we took a darning needle and we threaded it with a bag and went through and sewed it just like if you were in a bead or you were going to do like a blanket stitch and pulled it together and that way the bag is the same color and it made this nice and strong so that's not going to tear open and weaken the bag and next thing is uh, when we're doing colors I don't always use all colors but I notice when you go to a grocery store you might get a bag and one week it's this color it's kind of like a light orange and then the next week it's more this color which is a slightly different color orange and looking at them side by side like this you're like well, well they're not that much different but when you get them next to each other they're turning slightly a different color and then another week they were actually a peachy or pink orange instead of more like a tangerine orange so the colors the colors changed and one other week this last week they're bright orange like a tangerine skin so I decided to uh, blend the colors because you might not get enough to finish a whole bag if you try to do them all in one color or save them aside until you get enough to make sure or what I like to do is work with what you got and make the colors work like for example the Walmart bags used to be a light gray and now they're like a midnight gray or a blue gray so what I've done is you can see there's the midnight gray and then there's lighter ones in there that are almost and I've had some that even look silver gray and so you can use that to your benefit as like a shading effect or uh, use it like a secondary color and here I'm just blending here we have brown and then here's a brown that's got a little bit of orange in it and so when I use it here, it looks more orange. And when you use it over here, it looks more brown. So, you use your eye to uh, discern the difference. Like here's an orange, there's a regular brown, there's an orangey brown. And uh, I blended them. 
to make my bag. This is the bottom of my bag and it's starting to curl up because I stopped adding loops around the corners because I want it to start going up. The bag is big enough for, for what I want to do. And then this is the inside of my bag and all my knots or mistakes I always make sure that they end up on that side. So keeping track of subtle differences in your colors you might not care you might just want to crochet and see what happens but uh, it makes a difference and you can use it to your advantage or to have batches to make rings of colors that's up to you but just be aware that from one week to the next the bags can change color from brown orange brown orangey or brown peachy orange and even a tangerine orange I don't have any strips sitting out here right now but I've got some of that left too so uh, just be aware and maybe you can come up with even different combinations that I did thanks for watching